My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, peace be with you as we've begun this beautiful Holy Week. I'm grateful to spend some time with you today here in our beautiful St. Augustine Cathedral, the Mother Church of our Diocese. It was just yesterday that I was privileged to celebrate Palm Sunday Mass with a full church. And what a joy that was, considering that two years ago, our Holy Week liturgies were celebrated without congregations. And last year, 2021, while our faithful were able to be here and in parishes across the diocese, our attendance was still limited due to the ongoing challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. This year, I'm so happy to say that we're returning to some sense of normalcy in our world, in our country, and that we're able to welcome everyone back to church free of any capacity restrictions for this most sacred time of the year, this Holy Week. And welcoming everyone back is really what I would like to discuss with you today. As we emerge from this two-year challenge of the pandemic and return to that kind of normal pace of our lives, I want to encourage and invite each of you to make practicing our faith a priority. Hopefully you know that I've asked all the priests to return to normal liturgical practices, but also all the while being diligent in our cleaning and hygienic practices that we found were so important during the time of the pandemic and continue to be for the care of everyone in our churches. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, given the circumstances in our society and our world, which continues to be divided by economic, social, political unrest, and now with the great pain of war in Ukraine, our hearts are understandably troubled. Now more than ever, we need to turn back to God and to be strengthened by our faith, renewed by the hope of Easter. Our Lord Jesus Christ, heals our broken hearts. He takes away our doubts and sadness, and he replaces them with the tender love and mercy of our good and gracious God. Tomorrow, on Holy Tuesday, I will have the joy of gathering with the clergy and parish representatives from all our parishes from around the diocese for our annual Chrism Mass. Together, our priests will renew our priestly vows and then I'll be privileged to consecrate the sacred chrism and bless the holy oils that will be used in the celebration of the sacraments throughout this coming year. Then, of course, on Thursday, we begin the celebration of the Holy Triduum, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, the Easter Vigil Mass, as we mark the most important events of all time. The Last Supper, the very first Mass and the institution of the Eucharist, Good Friday, during, on, when Jesus suffered and death and won for us our gift of salvation. And Holy Saturday, when we celebrate Easter and with great joy of welcoming new members into our faith community during the Easter Vigil. And then on Easter Sunday, we get to proclaim once again, Alleluia, and announce to all the world, Jesus is risen. My dear friends, in my recent letter to you, I wrote that as bishop, it's both my privilege as well as my responsibility to remind us all that we have a serious obligation to keep holy the Lord's Day, to be faithful in giving our worship to God by joining with our sisters and brothers in Christ every week for Holy Mass. My hope is that each of us will be re-inspired to go beyond just meeting our Sunday obligation to be drawn into a deeper relationship with Jesus through the daily practice of our faith, the daily living out of our faith through the sacraments, through our acts of charity. Doing all of these things not only brings us closer to God, but allows us to give thanks to God for the gift of our salvation that Jesus has won for us, which is what we celebrate most dramatically during these days of Holy Week and Easter and every Sunday after. 
Our faith is what gives us focus and purpose as Catholics. Our faith prepares us for our eternal life with God in heaven. During this Jubilee year of the Holy Spirit, which we're continuing to observe in our diocese up to and through the Feast of Pentecost on June 5th, may we continue to ask for guidance from the Holy Spirit and continue to pray as we do at each Mass for the Spirit of mercy to inspire us with the desire to be like Jesus who won our salvation and who redeemed us from sin and death. May our loving God bless you abundantly during this Holy Week and may the joy and the hope of Easter fill your hearts throughout all the seasons of the church year to come. God bless you.